happening uh, in your state of Florida. But I have to ask you about what appears to be a threat by former President Trump against your colleague, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell. Uh, Trump said, quote, he has a death wish for supporting Democratic sponsored bills. He also mocked McConnell's wife and his own former transportation secretary, Elaine Chao, as, quote, China loving and Coco Chow. You're a member of the Senate GOP leadership. Are you okay with this? Well, look, I, I can never talk about, respond to why anybody else says what they said. But here's what it is, the way I looked at it is, I think, you know, what the president is saying is, you know, we've, there's been a lot of money spent over the last two years. Uh, we've got to make sure we don't keep caving to Democrats. It's causing unbelievable inflation and causing more and more debt. Um, as you know, you know, the president likes, likes to give people nicknames. You can ask him how he came up uh, with the nickname. Uh, I'm sure he has a nickname for me. Um, but, you know, here's what I know. We, we got to watch how we spend our money. We got to stop this inflation. Um, and, you know, and I, don't, I don't condone violence and I hope any, no one else condones violence. Nicknames are one thing, but this this is this appears racist. Is that OK? It's never, ever OK to be a racist. Um, um, it's, you know, look, I think you always have to be careful, you know, if you're in the public you know, eye, how you how you say things. You want to make sure you're inclusive. You want to make sure, uh, like yesterday in the neighborhood I was in, we had people probably from 10 countries that live there. And so that's what's great about this country. And what I, I know what I try to do is try to make sure everybody, everybody uh, especially all their kids, believe they have a hope and they can dream live the dream of this country. So I hope no one is racist. I hope no one says anything that's inappropriate. Um, so I'm going to do everything I can. Senator, thank you again. That was uh, so beyond the pale that I, I really, as a member of the leadership, I had to ask you about it. But